Hey, welcome back. We're going to make some strawberry jam today. I got two pots here filled with frozen strawberries. Plucked them from the garden and stuck them in the freezer until I was ready to deal with them. So we're going to make strawberry jam two different ways. And then we are going to gift some of them to somebody who's having a birthday coming up soon. So I'm just going to let them cook down, get real liquidy and soft, and then we'll start adding the other ingredients. While they simmer and soften, I'm just going to work on mashing them up with one of these tools, whatever you call it. Ah, that burned. Okay, I'm waiting on birthday girl to answer um, on if she likes her jam to be like preserves where it's got the fruit chunks in it or if she likes it completely blended up. Okay, so to thicken up mine, which I've already blended here, I'm going to use chia seeds, which you can see, C-H-I-A, chia seeds, and I'm just going to dump them in here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do like a cup. When, whenever they get wet, they will expand and, and turn into like this jelly texture and they're perfect for thickening anything that you want to thicken up. Birthday girl is typing a response. Let's see what she says. I'm just going to mix these chia seeds in. We have the burner on low. All right, the texture does not matter to her. So cool. Get out a different spoon. Due to her allergies, we need to, at this point, make sure we use separate spoons for each pot. Slightly chunky, but not too bad. We're gonna, we're just gonna go with this texture. This will be just fine. Okay. So to this pot for her, we are going to use pectin, and it is the Sure Gel. Pectin. We're going to use one packet. Uh, there's a proper measurement to use. Uh, for freezer jam, one box for one quart. I didn't measure and I don't care to. This will thicken up in either way. One cup of sugar. Two cups of sugar. Okay, everything's been thoroughly mixed. We're gonna let it sit to thicken and then we will test its thickness and then we'll jar it up. A little bit of vinegar and hot water in the sink and we are going to sanitize the jars real quick. Taste test real quick. Mmm, oh that's good. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Yep, I think she's gonna love it. Now we just want to see how thick it's gonna get. So we're gonna let this sit and we'll see how it's gonna keep thickening and then when it cools down, it'll, it'll thicken up even more. So let's just let this sit. I mean, I'll think I'll stick it in the fridge for a few minutes and then we'll check it. Almost forgot, add a squirt of lemon juice. Okay, and then over here, we are going to add the sweetener, which is going to be primarily maple syrup. Honey. Hot. Oh, you dummy, of course it's hot. 
Ugh. And a bit of sugar. All right, it's been about two minutes. And look, oh, barely moves. See the consistency? So yeah, this is thickening up well and it's gonna continue to get thicker and thicker. Mmm, tastes good. All right, get the jars out. I know I'm going to make a mess. I don't have a proper funnel. Ah, uh, see? I'm making a mess. Dang it. Hmm. What do I have? What do I have? This should do it. Such a mess. <laughs> Clean these off. Okay, so these are still warm. They've cooled down quite a bit, but they're still warm. So whenever they're cooled down completely, they'll be thick like we like them and uh, yeah so I'm gonna put the lids on them and then rinse them off real good get all the stickiness off of them we made these to taste so we're not gonna can them I did not follow a canning recipe or, or anything like that so she can have one out in the fridge and then the other three will need to go in her freezer and she's actually gonna get them tonight we're gonna go to dinner for her birthday and I'll give them to her so yeah made four exactly that's awesome and it's really good <laughs> So uh, if you're just following to taste, or if you're just making it to, to taste how you want it to and whatever consistency, consistency you want, you don't have to follow a specific recipe. So this was two cups of sugar and one box of the pectin and then a squirt of lemon juice and tastes amazing. I'll uh, jar up the other batch I made that is mine that will stay here um, off camera. But we got it. So y'all have a wonderful day and thanks for watching and I will see you later. Bye. I love you. Are you done yet? Oh, I thought. <laughs> All right, got it spit out. You've been it one handed, so <laughs> a little awkward. Uh, so this is strawberry chia seeds to thicken, and then um, maple syrup, honey, and a little bit of sugar in here instead of the sugar and pectin. And that's what it looks like. Taste it. Yep, that's good. And uh, birthday girl, I already tried hers out, and I'll throw a picture up here for you to see. And she loved it. She loved hers. Hers was sugar and pectin. And uh, I gave her the four jars and. She's got them in the freezer. All right. Well, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you try these out. If you're wanting something without the pectin and less sugar, then this is the way to go. See you next time. Bye.